Hello, my beautiful subscribers. Today, this is miscellaneous shit about subs with my assistant, whatever you want to call But literally, I'll be painting as this goes down. Literally, I've been in this community for so long. Yeah, like, uh, if I may ask, when did you, what made you start making subliminals? Oh, that's a good one. I actually was asked to make one for someone, because request, they were requesting a mind audio, mind audio central. And they just couldn't afford it because they were homeless in their car. So I made them one. And then it just grew on from there. Oh, oh. oh gosh. ASMR. Enjoy, folks. <laughs> but literally, it just kind of grew from there. I've had a few channels, actually. I won't, like, give names inherently because I just... I got this channel now, and... Well, honestly... I will talk about this. My oh. first channel. Yes, a lot of people have theorized this. And yes, I am Kuro's Audios as well. But I am also the key alchemist. Well, was. And my text to speech stopped working, among other things. People were really demanding a lot out of me, and I was going through a really horrible time in my life. You know, I was depressed mm -hmm. and alone, so I just kind of stopped. Even though I thought about remembering that email, trying to remember that Gmail and log into that account, because mm -hmm. I still have uh, Kuro's Audios, which is now Bean Barrel. <laughs> bean Barrel? Yeah, Bean Barrel. The Bean Barrel. Why is it called that? No clue, I just thought of it on a whim, because I was like, I don't know what to do with this channel anymore, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling up to it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I made this one, a year ago, as just a simple thing for fun, which I started with very simple affirmations, so I went back to my old, let's do hardcore. But, so what would you say is the difference between a simple one? And one that's more complex. Alright, for example, like, I am a subliminal maker. Mm -hmm. Would be an affirmation for one to become a subliminal maker. And, uh, there ain't no subs for that inherently. You know, I was thinking about a sub maker combo. But, then there's the complicated ones, are like, why am I this? Why are you this? Or, like, for example, why do I have blue eyes? Why do you have blue eyes? I have blue eyes. You have blue eyes. Those are affirmations, right? Mm hmm Okay. How does one, like, like you said, like, you can make ones where it makes you, like, per se, able to make them. How does one start that? Like, well, what makes someone necessarily a better one versus a new one versus... Honestly. One? I don't see as there is inherently any better or worse, but there are different types of minds out there. Some minds take the complicated boys better, some boys take the, you know, the simple ones better because it's easier to understand them, your brain to understand it, sometimes. Is there any, like, let's say you wanted to use one to its max power, uh, I don't know the exact term you'd want to say, I hope that's alright. Maximum strength, you got it right. Yes. What would be the best layout for that? Like, do you want to be sitting? Is it okay to be moving? Can you be only meditating. listening and focus? Okay. Meditating and visualizing having that is the best thing you could ever do. Mm -hmm. Sleeping to them is another really? way. Yes. I actually used to sleep to them. Oh. And I still do to this very day. Even though... The only subs I've had really work for me really, really, really well was weird subliminals. 
I recommend her channel. She is amazing. Yeah. Well, she goes by Misty Brand on YouTube now, but yeah, you, you all probably know her. She um she uses simple affirmations. My brain's kind of funky. <laughs> it wasn't always this funky, but Oh well. Yeah. Would you say so like meditation, do you think there's a mindset you should have going into it that would help or hinder? Well, a mindset that will hinder it is not believing in it. Not drinking enough water is a way that will hinder it. Being stressed can fuck with it. But most importantly, belief in meditation and visualization are very, very powerful when it comes to making sense so, and listening to them. So I meditate in my spare time to think of some of my ideas. Like my not safe for uh, work videos. I meditate. I think of something kind of cute, kind of sexy, pretty, attractive. And, well, I make this up. I draw the picture first, though. I always like to include a picture. I'm not silly. <laughs> I noticed, uh, looking at a couple of your videos, you've recently begun showing your own artwork. Uh, do you plan on branching out into that? Yes, if I can. You know, I am quite low on supplies because I'm low on funds. Well, everyone starts somewhere, huh? Yep, Baru. Uh, you always have stones in your videos. Uh, why, per se, do you always show stones and recommend them? I'm a Reiki healer. It's pretty simple. Uh, I practice the art of Reiki. If and... I may rephrase my question, do they necessarily help with it at all? They can. Oh. Blue lace agate is a very calming effect. Labradorite, like, clear quartz is the m ultimate manifestor, in my opinion. My experiences of clear quartz have been crazy. Mm -hmm. Fluorite was one I had some very weird experiences with because, as you all already know, I'm the action kin. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> fluorite helps with past life memories, among other things. How do you feel about, and I don't know if you necessarily know about this per se, or have heard of it, at least I personally don't usually look into any of this as someone looking in. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this new trend on TikTok where they've almost redefined fiction again? Where it, like, obviously the old age way, there's like different terms and stuff for it all. Otaku can. But they've kind of mashed it all together and it's more so you relate to this character or. I don't know how to phrase it. Like you have a connection to that character, a spiritual mm -hmm. connection. Yes, much less so than naturally being. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I'm alright with it. I'm glad people took in their own path on it, you know? How do you feel about the terms now, though, slowly kind of diminishing and being kind of lumped together? That's all right, man. I still use multiple terms, but I'm actually an old schooler, kind of. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the community all being so young? I'm actually kind of glad, because that just tells me this next generation will, like, you know... How do I explain? God, words, words, words. It's okay. Take your time. <laughs> or what gets a little awkward. Oh. But I'm actually glad that people are taking their own, like, you know, path on things. Like Wiccan, Paganism, Christianity. Everyone has their own paths in life, and each path is beautiful in their own way. Quite a nice way to think about it. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about, let's see, I've hit most of my keynotes here. Anything else you'd like to add? I don't know, man. The fact this plant pot is taking too long to dry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm.
fuck, I'm laying the other candle. Oh, yes, because... This is true content. Oh. True content. We've gone from... One candle. <laughs> yeah, from a rather laid out, planned, prepared situation of calmness and professionalism to, I believe, two monkeys snorting crack. <laughs> We are flying monkeys who have snorted way too much crack. Disclaimer, no crack is in the vicinity. Yeah, we... no. God birthed me out in this world just being naturally like, <gasps> Time to run 10 miles! Who needs anything when you have anxiety? <laughs> exactly. ADHD, the lovely combination of it all um how do you feel about being one of the more smaller creators like do you see yourself like do you look at ones with like let's say a thousand views ten thousand views half a million kind of thing and like do you wonder how they make it or like do you wish you would kind of know how to grow your channel quicker or do you kind of like figure it out on your own? i'm happy for them honestly i'm like good for you man because I know I'll grow on my own pace. It's just going with the flow. Mm -hmm. So, any new kind of subliminals, per se, you're interested in doing? I was actually thinking about, you know, doing requests of frequencies in them. But frequencies actually kind of scare me. As they can cause seizures and hurt your hearing. You might have to, well, maybe then some sort of disclaimer or something mm -hmm. before the audio starts. Yeah. Though your videos are very short, which I personally think, at least someone outside looking in, it, that sounds pretty nice because just you only, want, you only have a short amount of time and you can loop it if mm -hmm. you want. Yep, and there are wind chimes or beach sounds. Sometimes I have lo-fi music. I have like three different uh, music sounds. Musics and sounds. But, um... I always, when I first started listening to subliminals when I was 12 years old, I <clears throat> couldn't listen to them like I probably should have, because they're like 10 minutes long, or 11, or 9, like they were a lot longer back then, there's a lot more frequencies back then, I've used frequencies before actually, Matrix Play 99 was one that was actually pretty good but in the end a lot of people stopped trusting them and I just kind of was like I don't want to risk it man mm -hmm. <clears throat> to get a little more out of bounds yes how do you feel about the community as a whole is there any content creators you've listed some that you like are there any you're, you you want to knock a peg down? Mind Audio Central! What? <laughs> Was my favorite, he still is, but he deleted his YouTube channel. Oh, that's not, that's not even mean, that's just sad. I know, I just need him to be sad about that. <laughs> ah! I mean, is he on other platforms at least, bud? Yeah, but still. Aww. God damn it. I loved your channel, man. Mind power, though. Mm -hmm. That secret hidden affirmations she had. It's like, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to poor people? Hold up. Okay, let me explain this here and now. I don't inherently hate her. I could be very well wrong. But a lot of people had a lot of bad things happen to them because they listened to her audios and there was apparently hidden affirmations. One of my friends used her audios and he got extremely sick. Oh gosh. And believe it or not, do any of you know about the subliminal amino? I personally don't. Fill me in. Well, you see, my friend who I just talked about well, together we made the subliminal, I mean, no kinda. I didn't join until we started talking again because we got into an argument and we stopped talking for some time and, well, once we started talking again, 